Can I come in? Hey. I couldn't tell if you said yes. Are you still on the phone? No? Wait. They hung up on you? Why? They were the ones who called you in the first place. And they just... Hung up. <sighs> Come here. <laughs> no, it's not fine. Don't... Don't even say that. Okay, it isn't fine. I can literally see it on your face, how hard they're being on you. Did they at least say if they're gonna call back? God. Your family needs to start communicating and planning these things out a little bit better. Well, it's not fair. They just take you away in the middle of dinner, in the middle of you eating, and then they treat you like this. They shouldn't be treating you like that anyways. Hanging up on you in the middle of a conversation and they're the ones who called in the first place. You poor thing. I am so sorry. Don't worry about your dinner. I put it in the microwave to keep it warm. Or did you want it right now? I can go grab it if you do. Okay, that's fine. No, I could not eat without you. I just wanted to wait until you were off the phone. We don't even have to eat. If you're not feeling like it, I don't know if you're even hungry anymore. Well, they make me feel crazy. So I wouldn't be surprised if they ruined some appetite for us. I'm in here checking on you. You don't need to ask how I'm doing. I'm fine. I'm here for you. Well, they send me into this overdrive where my mind is scrambling to just, I don't know, make it better. Fix something that I know isn't even in my control. It's not even in our control. I hate it. But if you want dinner, I will heat up our dinner. Okay? We could eat together. Or we could go for a walk, if you want. Anything. If you want to just go to bed, I'll go with you. We can call it and just have an early night. I know. And that's okay. You don't have to know what you want right now. I know that there probably isn't a solution. Families are messy. It sucks. It does. It does feel like there should be something we can do. Some kind of fix. Ugh, I keep wanting to ask if you're okay, but... I know that is such a stupid question. Of course you're not okay. I'm not okay seeing you be not okay. I just don't know how to rephrase it better right now. I can't help it. I see you hurting. You know, and I see your family treating you like that. I could hear them yelling through the phone at some points and you had the door shut. And I just want to fix it for you. I just want to protect you. Do you have to keep talking to them? I know, I know. But I had to ask. You know, just in case you agreed to let me call them back and cuss them out. <laughs> you know I would. Hey, look at me. 
you deserve for the people who love you to act like it and to show it. And you deserve to be part of a family. I am so sorry that you had to go through that tonight. I can't even imagine all the other times that must have happened. When I wasn't there or before I knew you. I hate it for you. And I love you. You don't deserve that kind of treatment. Honestly, it pisses me off. They don't give you any credit for how well you treat them. <laughs> yes, you do. You treat them so well. You treat them better than they've earned. Better than I would treat them if I were you. No, that's not what I'm saying. I think you're incredible for putting up with it, for sitting through it, for still trying. I think you're incredible even on the days that you don't feel like you can keep trying with them. I'm just saying I have a way shorter fuse than you. I think I would have lost my mind already with them. <laughs> I know your family is going through a tough time right now. But why are we the only ones who have to keep our composure? <sighs> I'm sorry. You're right. But I still do not know how you do it. I know that you can handle yourself. But I can't help it. I get mad. I do. I don't know. The whole situation is just so shitty. And I cannot imagine being at the center of it like you are. You are so strong for dealing with all of this. I'm proud of you. Actually, I admire you. And I love you. Okay? I see you doing everything that you can. The fact that you even pick up their call when it rings and you listen and I can hear you in here trying to communicate with them trying to finally get the conversation to go somewhere you are being there for them even though you're far away even though they're toxic and even though they call you names and make you feel like shit that means so much even if they are too wrapped up in themselves to see it. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm trying to watch my own mouth. They're your family. If they weren't, I would have a lot more colorful things to say. But I'm trying not to go there. Listen to me. They are lucky that you even pick up their calls anymore. You deserve to be treated well. How are you feeling? Your hands shaking? I can't tell. Let me see. Uh -uh. I think it's just adrenaline. You can't help it. Here, give me your hands. It's not your fault, okay? That was really intense. They are always so confrontational. It's like an attack every time. And I know that you guys have a long history that I don't even know the full story of. So it's okay. Okay? To be shaken up or upset. Hey, do not say that. Okay? You are doing everything that you can. I know we haven't found the right answer, but... But please... Just 
don't believe everything you feel. Okay? Because you are doing enough. You are. Yeah. I don't know either. I really wish there was an easier answer, but I I don't know what to do either. I hate seeing them hurt you like this. But I know they're your family. I just wish there was something more I could do. Let me pick up the call next time and you can see what happens. <laughs> I'm only half kidding. Let me at them. <laughs> you deserve to be heard. And they are the only ones who deserve respect. Okay? You deserve respect too. Mm. Is that them? Mm. Ugh, damn. That made my heart stop for a second. I thought maybe that was them calling back. I don't know what for. To apologize? <laughs> Grovel? Beg for your forgiveness? Write you a really big check for all the emotional damage? <laughs> well, they should. If they don't reach back out, do you think you're going to call them back? Do you think you'll want to reach out? Maybe that's enough for tonight, right? For us not to know what the hell we want to do about it. We don't always have to know. Hey, look at me. You did a really great job. You picked up their call. Again. You haven't given up on anybody. And I'm not giving up on you. They are lucky. Okay, and so am I. I'm really lucky to be loved by you. Here. Sit back in your chair. Let me crawl into your lap and just hold you. 